So we're continuing our journey on running Node-RED in, um, in the camera. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the camera node. So here you have the node. I'm just going to be putting an inject and I'm going to be putting a debug out there. like that and deploy. So in here you have uh, resolutions, different resolutions to, to select. You can select here. Uh, so let's do that and deploy. Oh, let's overlay, that's the text overlay. If you want the text overlay to be included in the image or not. Uh, and then the output the different outputs. So this is going to be a buffer. So that's going to be binary. So if we did this um, and so there we got a binary buffer. We could extend this to a file, write file. And writing this to the, let's say the SD card. So you need the, the so that's the var spool. Um, yeah, so, so there's a path to, to the SD card and then you would do overwrite file. Let, let's say that this SD, um, I don't remember the, the full path, uh, but some test JPEG. Overwrite file, and we don't need that. And encoding default um, done like this. This is not going to work because that that is not going to be um, working. Uh, but you get the you get the understanding here that you could write this to a JPEG file, or you can do a um, a sending this over HTTP to something else. So HTTP request and in this case it's most likely going to be a post with a payload and then you type in wherever that url service that you want to be posting this to whatever.com and which is this is not going to work either but so let's we can just do this and boom of course it's not going to be finding that one but it we just posted a binary uh, file there so you can or you could take this image and throw that into a into an analytics so yeah let's i'll show you one thing here it's going to be let's import image tools um install and now we're going to be importing a new package called image tools so now we got a bunch of new nodes so we can close this one and let's uh, we can filter here uh, image so one here is the image viewer so you can view images in the node red workspace and we can say uh, let's do this one as 360 width and putting that in there we don't need we can just disable the, the, the bug output and inject oh there we go so let's uh, do this is not really intended for uh, quick refresh rates so we can get the image right there. So there's also um, other tools that you could use. We can just remove this one and putting into a and the function. So these are our, you can do a bunch of work on these uh, with the image tool. You can read all the documentation if you click here and let's see. this one out and there is a booklet 
and this describes everything around the image tools. You can play around with this if you if you like to. So uh, as I've see, shown you, if you want the video in a dashboard, so if you, if you want this into a dashboard, you will need to have a template node um, and putting writing some HTML and using the base64. So uh, the base64 would be the ones if you're going to be pushing into a um, to a uh, dashboard. So you see binary here, but if, if we take this one now, then we can see you're getting the base64. But if you want video in your dashboard, uh, it's much better to just use the uh, the go import and examples under host here and video player and adding that deploy. So you can take a look here and change this as much as you want if you understand this. Um, but so what happens here is the video is not going to go through node red it's actually from the browser connecting to the camera and getting the video directly from the camera displaying that in a node red dashboard so that's uh, around the image capture and i hope this is sufficient for you to play around on your own and finding good use cases and watch out for the next video